Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy King Mo, and I'm back with another video. Um, sorry I didn't get to post earlier this week. Um, if you guys were expecting a video earlier this week, I have been busy. Um, obviously, I'm trying to balance, uh, I'm trying to balance university and work and YouTube all at once. Um, so you know, it is kind of hard to do it, but you know, I'm able to make a video now. So I guess uh, here I am. And um, if you guys are new to the channel. I do post regularly um, so you know if you guys wanted to drop a little subscribe it's free you can do it for now and if you wish to unsubscribe later then you can do so um, we're close to 500 subscribers and um, if you guys of course want to show some love then just please leave a like helps the video grow uh, comment down below what you want to see next um, but yeah we're gonna get into this video so guys this video is going to be um not necessarily like a you know any helpful type of video but it's more like a um a type of rant i guess again uh sorry if you guys don't like these rant type of videos but i just have to bring it out because i mean ea man this is just getting out of hand to be honest because at this point a foot birthday you're just gonna ruin every single promo that we get now if you guys don't know if you guys haven't played fifa or i mean if you guys have played fifa as well i guess uh we have foot birthday and obviously the, the team for foot birthday is very very good obviously we have a very good team for foot birthday and I'm, i don't have any complaints to be honest with the foot birthday team this is the team right here um i mean then the promo as well that's coming up this friday the foot birthday team 2 is probably going to be as good as this or maybe even better than this team so there's no problem necessarily with the promo cards themselves but i do have a problem with the spcs that the type of, of the type of players that they are bringing out so if you guys um did play fifa 21 you guys will know that the foot birthday promo last year with the spcs especially are crazy like you had this marco royce here with crazy stats five star skills he had this vidal here with five star skills he was so good i swear this vidal was amazing and then you have this Renato Sanchez as well. He was just this. This guy was literally the best center mid in this whole game in the whole game last year um, until September. So um, you know they brought out a lot of good SPCs last year. Even the Urzo, I enjoyed that Urzo for birthday last year as well. Um, but this year is a bit. It's a bit lackluster in terms of the quality of the players. Now, like I said in my last rant video, I don't mind bringing out. I don't mind EA bringing out new players or new types of players for the promo cards for example like timber i think this timber is a good addition i think he's a very good player i think the stats here are great i think the work rates are a bit bad but overall i think it's a good player and for only an 84 rated squad as well i think it's a very good spc to be honest so if you guys can link him then I, I suggest doing the timber honestly but then you know we get into the players like this okay mavididi i don't have to say his name i mean like what even is this card i know you guys are going to be looking at this card being like whoa 90 dribbling that's good 87 shooting that's good it's got great pace da, da, da. yes guys but at the same time i mean i mean like he's an 84 and 85 squad which is more than like 100 and something k and then he has three star skills which is just i don't know what ea are thinking with these type of stuff like why not just make him four star skills or why not just give him the skill move upgrade to five star and make him like a four star weak for instead i don't understand why ea want to make players just worse this year for like spcs i mean look i mean you can see it here the player looks decent like looking at his stats he looks decent and any casual player would probably be like oh wow he's actually got a good card but at the same time you have a three star weak foot a three star skill move card and it's about to be you know in two weeks time it's about to be april like three star skills i know a lot of people may not do skills anyway but i mean like it's not really a great card you can just get you can literally just buy gold name off the market market for 90k instead of doing this mavididi for for 100 and something k like there's no point realistically at the end of the day neymar is going to be better than this mavididi anyway so there's no real point in even getting them even bamba you you, you might be better off getting rule breaker bamba than this guy like to, i'm being dead serious as well like i don't really like bamba in this game myself but you're better off having bamba than this mavididi guys so if you guys did do this spc then i'm sorry but he's not a great card unfortunately uh lena as well this lena guy he looks all right i mean he's got the he's got what five star skills high high work rates 
I think he looks decent, but defending is very low. 82 defending on a right back. I mean, tss, what's the point of having a promo card if you're gonna have bad defense defensive stats? Like, and then you know you might as well just buy like a like an Mbappé off the market at this rate. I know there's not a lot of good right backs in in Bundesliga anyway, but you might honestly you might as well just buy Mbappé ice or fire whichever one has more defending you might as well just buy him off the market for 50k and that's about it same as this Ndombele this Ndombele what is this card five star weak foot four star skills me personally I think Ndombele should have five star skills anyway in real life uh, from real life sorry I think he has five star skills already that I think he deserves it but EA keep giving him a four star and then just a card like this like the dribbling is outrageous the dribbling is amazing the passing is amazing physicals are just nothing special defending is is bad you know shooting is bad and pace is bad as well like you're gonna bring out a 300k card this is this is a big big spc you know look 86 85 84 83 there's no way in hell anyone is paying for this this is about 350k for endombele and he's got 80 pace bro my center backs are quicker than him my center backs are quicker than him why are my center backs quicker than your center mid you know it's just terrible i don't know why ea bring out players like this or even if they were to bring out players like this just boost it why not give Ndombele 85 pace and 83 shooting and 81 defending why not make him good make him usable make him desirable because if you're gonna have him with 80 pace no one's ever gonna do him no one is ever gonna do him that's why he's so downvoted on footbin right now because he's just not great he's just got the worst stats like there's no point getting a guy like Ndombele right now halfway through March when literally everyone's centre back is going to be quicker than him. You know, there's no real point of having an 80 pace centre mid. However, EA have brought out some good players. They have brought out some good players. Or well, I'd say good player. I think um, Tammy Abraham is a decent player. He's a decent player. I think um the height obviously is glitched is actually five star skills it is glitched on the um objective but obviously the height kind of lets him down a bit i know obviously they can't change his height but six foot five and inevit inevitably inevitably sorry he will feel stiff in game um unfortunately that's just the nature of fifa um but why not just give him a four star weak foot as well like he has five star skills already guys it's glitched but he does have five star skills in the game um so why not just give him a four star weak foot why proceed to give him a three star weak foot and like you might as well just give him a four star make him somewhat more usable than what he already is there's no point decreasing the amount of skills or not increasing sorry the amount of skills that he has just because you don't want him to be too usable you just i don't understand just make him usable or don't you know i got these i got this mkhitar in here and he is honestly unreal you can see the stats for him he's got me all of these goals and assists and foot champs and elite division he is unreal this is the only good foot birthday spc that they've brought out brought out so far like you can see this mkhitaryan is amazing me personally the closest player i'd say mkhitaryan is to is probably Cruyff I think Mkhitaryan is like a poor man version of Cruyff that's what I think it's up to you how you want to perceive that but in my opinion I think Mkhitaryan is like a poor like a cheaper version of Cruyff in this game so if you guys do want to do Mkhitaryan then do him obviously it's gonna be hard to link because Syria and Armenia he's not it's not a great country but at the end of the day this Mkhitaryan is good and I don't know why they don't bring out more players like Mkhitaryan anyway in this game I don't know why they don't bring out more players like that or even just like like last year last year they brought amazing amazing players I'm not saying bring out the same players as last year I'm saying bring out the same caliber of players in terms of ability and usable like being able to being usable in game not having usable players in this stage of fifa is just not it it makes the game less fun imagine like this mavididi is not usable this lena is not usable this Endombele is not usable why are you going to bring out non-usable players in fifa in in march this timber is usable but the high medium ruins him but he is a usable card and he's hard to link but like these three here there's no reason for ea sports to not boost them at least boost them like i know i know i know they are they were originally like low rated cars like none of these guys are even higher than 82 rated but at the end of the day 
just boost them man you need to make usable cards in march you can't have a non-usable card spc in march it doesn't make sense it makes the game less fun less people will even want to play the game because of these spcs just give this guy four star four star skills you know just give him four star skills and he'll be way more usable give lena like 88 defending why not it'll make him way more usable way more desirable you know and belly make him give him 85 86 pace at least 85 pace and then just give him like 80 defending and then give boost his shooting just a little bit and that's it everyone's happy like there's no reason for you guys to not boost these cards it doesn't make sense if you're going to boost them you either boost them all the way or you don't boost them at all there's no point half-heartedly boosting players there's no point having a right back with 82 defending there's no point having a center mid with 80 pace there's no point honestly there's no point and there's no point having a winger with three star skills it's not going to work that, it's not going to work this year at least he made a center back with good pace good physical good defending here and great dribbling but yeah guys this that's just this is just gonna be the video because it's just getting out of hand i'm not gonna lie i know ea are not gonna watch this you know no employee is gonna watch this um no big youtuber is gonna watch this and you know but at the end of the day this has to be said by someone so you know i'm just happy that um you guys are supporting me right now um hopefully we can bring out a video this weekend as well so stay tuned for that we will be streaming on a saturday uh for foot champs so stay tuned for that as well and hopefully everyone has a blessed blessed day everyone stay safe and peace out